everyone, I hope you're doing well, hope you're okay. Uh, welcome to December and welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be um, my favourite things at Christmas. This can be any Christmas from Christmas is gone to this Christmas. A couple of things that we've bought and a couple of things that I'm excited about. So first things first, what I've been doing, I've been gathering a few bits up to show you. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is a garland that I bought. Um, it's on the stairs at the minute, on the on the rail, on the handrail, we bought two. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about them now, and then I'm going to take you through to the hall and show you, uh, because Paris is in bed having a snooze. She's not long coming from work. She does half night shifts into the morning so she comes home and has a few hours so I don't really want to speak about it in the hall because it we might wake her up so I bought two garlands from TJ Hughes during the week and um, they were £29 each and the pre-lit garlands they've got silver baubles on dusky pink bows and little um silver little detail-y planty things i don't know how to describe them like silver leafy things and they look really nice so i've just lit them now so i'll take you through and show you those also the doors are in the hall they finally come and they're finally getting delivered getting put up on uh wednesday this week wednesday so they're getting put up so they should be done so first things first i'll show you the garland but as i'm showing you i won't speak because I'm telling you about them now so we don't wait Paris up. So that was the garland. I hope you liked it. It was really nice and well worth the money. I wasn't quite sure what we'd exactly paid for them, but I checked the receipt and they were £29 each from TJ Hughes. And they were all bagged up ready. So we seen one on display and we quite liked it. So we worked out that we'd have to get two for the for the banister. And they look really nice at night. So uh, that was the first thing. Um, the next thing is this is a bit of home where just some air fresheners and things like that. So at Christmas, when we've done our Christmas clean and we're getting in that, we want our houses smelling all festive. Um, I've been picking these up. This is the Mulled Wine Pure by Erwick. And this just has a lovely scent um, all round when you've done your cleaning, you can pop this round. And every year we usually get the candles as well. Um, but I always spritz a little bit of this round as well. So that always brings back memories of each Christmas and it's really nice. So that one. And then we've got the Glade. There's not much in this because I've been using it. This is the Glade Apple Spice and this has, is very similar. And that's just another lovely Christmassy one. And um, these are really good. I think these ones, I think the Airwick is about £2. And these are generally about a pound. It depends on where you go for them. But I always love these at Christmas. They're really nice. You've just got to be careful how much you're spraying around so they're not near the dog. And just spritz a little bit when you're in on your own doing your cleaning. Everyone else is out and you can go to town with the air fresheners. Um, another one I got was frosted pine and that's by Febreze and that's a nice I think I sprayed this the other day and Paris commented it smelt fruity if this is the one or it could have been the next one but I think I'd sprayed this round so this is just another one my favorites really are the mulled wine ones but this is nice as well so we've got that one just a freshener freaks um, this one, Sugar Plum in the Febreze uh, Mist as well, and this is a limited edition, so that's a nice uh, purple one, and that's just really nice, fresh, uh, wintry, Christmassy scent for that one. So I absolutely love these. Every Christmas, uh, they come out, and once the tree goes up, that's when I start spraying all them round like a woman possessed. So the next thing, um, the Zoflora range, um, I've got cranberry and orange. Uh, this is really nice. I put it in my buckets when I'm mopping. Um, a little bit in with hot water. It really makes the house smell lovely and Christmassy. Um, also, when I've cleaned the kitchen down and the sink's been cleaned and everything, it's nice to pop a capful in boiling water, leave it in your sink, and that'll just have a lovely smell. It makes the whole house smell really nice and festive. 
Um, so yeah, there's loads of these, but this is the only Christmassy one I've got up to now. So we might try and pick another one up and then um, after Christmas, then I go back to the linen ones and the washing smelling ones, like the clean linen and, and things like that. But these are really nice and they've got all the fruity scents and um, so that's cranberry and orange i think for this size it's about 1.99 you can get a larger one that's about three pound um but i just opted for this one for now so that's really nice so if you want your house smelling all christmasy pop a cap full in hot water in your sink and you've got and it's doing your sink getting rid of all the germs freshening everywhere up and your whole kitchen smells gorgeous in fact your whole house smells lovely with it so the next thing I've got is um, a chocolate orange, Terry's chocolate orange. Now, who doesn't love these at Christmas? These are just Christmas to me. I love them. I have had the segment bags in the past, but I tend to go for these. So I went to Asda this morning and picked two of these up. Um, I think they're really nice with a nice latte or a cappuccino or a coffee. Um, they're really nice just to have a few. But saying that, in the past, I have it. A good half of one of them and half the next day so we really love these and these just say christmas these along with um, mint thins and turkish delight thins i think they're really nice and matchmakers as well although i've not bought any of those yet this year uh, but they just spell out christmas um my nanny my mum's mum used to buy us all the grandkids matchmakers when we were all kids um, she'd get us some packs of knickers and some matchmakers so it's really funny so every time I see matchmakers I think of them but I like them as well but this one is one of my favourites so that's that so the next thing I've got now this isn't an advertisement for Asda they've not asked me to advertise anything like that this is just me sharing this with you and this is the Asda Christmas Savings Card now i've had one of these for years and years and what i tend to do is um starting in january every payday i'll get 20 pound go and load it onto the card when i do my weekly shop well i do it a month uh, i do my shopping obviously weekly but i put 20 pound a month on this so i think i might have put a bit extra on over a couple of weeks because now i've got like 220 pounds we're not going to go through all that on food and drink and everything but basically it's a good way of saving um with asda if you do your christmas food shop your your alcohol you can get gifts on it you can get clothes with it and um, it's just a way of having the money on this and then when you come to do your shopping you can just pick all your things that you need for christmas if you're hosting christmas having parties or you just want to save up for the gifts um toys um toiletry gifts even dvds books this is all on here loaded um so it's a really good idea for me because even i think before i started working i used to get these because if you're on a budget as well some people are on tight budgets it's a good way of saving up and then you can get a good food shop if you've got a large family they do come in handy and um, you can get a good food shop and you can keep getting your other prezzies as well but then when you come to buy your food shop which i get mine about a week before christmas we know that we don't need cash because it's all been preloaded on here so with this you just um load it on and i think um, i don't know whether you get any if you save so much you get money i'm not sure because i just keep saving and then when i come to um get the christmas shopping i just simply hand this in and then usually with me i have um a few pounds left over so i just leave it on there and then i'll start again in january and um i'll just reload it again so year in year out i know morrison's do them as well but they do the stamp cards i did used to buy 100 on each for the year but i just stopped getting those ones because sometimes you'd lose the stamps in between getting them at the shops and getting home and sticking them in the book you could lose them i just think this is a, a better safe way so this is just kept in my purse and then monthly i'll tend to do it or if you've got some spare money and you're in the shop you can think right i'll stick some on so that's a really good way so that's one of my favorite things because your food and drink are taken care of and the seven of us this year for dinner obviously three households which is this year's allowance so the majority of stuff will be paid for with this next thing i got yesterday 
Um, I went to Chester yesterday with Alan and we had some dinner and a little look around the shops and bought a few things. And I, I went in WH Smith's for my magazines because each week I buy the OK magazine, the new magazine and the TV magazine. And around this time in the year, I always get excited when the um, Christmas TV mags are coming out. It's just the simple things with me. Um, and I spotted TV Choice Christmas edition and it was £1.40 for a double issue. Um, so I thought I'd get this. I always get excited about seeing what's on over Christmas. And um, it gives you all the listings from, I think it's from the 18th right through till New Year. So even though, uh, like I've said before, me and Alan are care workers. So we're in work over Christmas. We're in afternoon Christmas Day. But I'll still circle off what I want to watch and record on my Sky Plus. And this always gets me excited. I just love getting it, sitting with a cuppa seeing what's on over christmas um, and I've, I've bought these for years and years but i'll also usually i get the tv times um at christmas because i just love reading that and um, but i spotted this first i don't think the tv times one was out yet so i said to alan i'm going to pick this up so i can get a quick preview in but i'll also buy the tv times as well because i have to because it's habit even though I've got this and it's just going to say exactly the same programmes, it's like a tradition where I've got to get the TV Times bumper Christmas magazine. <laughs> so that's another one that I picked up. Just pop that there. Now, another thing I got the other day was this. Um, I don't know whether you can see. Put a, let me just see. I got this um, Snow Girl and I bought this when I got the Garland from TJ Hughes. I think this was 12 99 but I'm not sure. Um, it's got the big extendable legs on, if you can see there. Um, a lovely little dress, scarf, carrot nose, hat, bit of holly, uh, basket with snowballs in. And I thought this would be really nice when my doors go up. I've got the plant over here at the minute that's out of the hall. So I said to Alan, with the grey now in the hall everywhere is grey I thought I'll get this and it can stand at the bottom of the plant so it's just something for in the hall because I've got nowhere really in here to stand her so she's got lovely socks on and little boots on and I just love her I think the legs are meant to go up and down but I think it's a bit stuck but I don't want to force it in case I break it so yeah I made up with that actually here's the price Oh, it was 14 99 and it was two for 20. So this was actually the last one in the snow girl with the dress. But I might go back because I've had it stuck in my bedroom, stood up while I'm waiting for everything to get come out of the hall and the plant to go back in. So I thought it really looked nice in the bedroom because that's grey as well. So I might go back in the week and see if they've got another one. And just to have that stood in the bedroom, just for something to be in there. So yes, yeah, so we'll pick that up. She's got, oh, she's got little jingly um, straps on her dress as well. And I just love it. I've made up with it. So we've got that. And then, because I'm really silly, and I think of really stupid things, um, I bought this as well. Now, I said to Alan, I'm going to have to get this to go with the snow girl because she'll be on her own out there in the hall. I know it's dead silly. You'll probably laugh your heads off. But yeah, so we've bought this and I think her legs are just fixed. But this is a little um, elf girl. Um, she's got little pixie ears. She's got a little dress on, little boots, the tights. And I just love her. So I thought I'm going to get that. And then these are going to go in the hall under my plant. And she'll stand next to the little um, snow girl. So I bought this. And I think this is 18 inch Ethel and Elvin standing elf. So I didn't buy Elvin, I just got Ethel. So um, I think this was about eight, either eight pounds or six pounds. Don't think the price isn't on this one. But yeah, that was also from TJ Hughes. I hope you can see. I hope the lighting's all right for you as well. So yeah, got that one. Stand them there. Um, now, in another video um, I did, I'll just get this, 
I mentioned that I'd got a Christmas jumper a few videos back and Darcy knocked it off the door. Well, as I was about to show it, the camera played up, didn't it, as per usual. So I thought I'll bring it down and show you. So I'm looking forward to wearing this. It's a grey large jumper with a teddy on and it's got um, a penguin on with a little Christmas hat and a little snow bubble on the top. And it's really nice and soft. And I think this was how much? I think it was 12 oh 16 pounds that was um so that's in the large i hope you can see that there so yeah i picked that up i knew when i watched the video back i thought my jumper didn't come on so the camera must have played up so i hope you can see that there that's in a large so we'll wear that at some point probably on the run up to christmas so the next thing i got are a few clothing items these were bought yesterday at chester I got a pair of pyjamas from Primark and these are in the large 14 to 16s and these were £12 and they're just the softest um, material you could ever imagine. They're really nice and soft and cosy in a cream colour. You get the legging type trousers with them. Um, yeah, so I really love these. I think you could have these as loungewear or pyjamas. They're not going to be my Christmassy pyjamas. I probably will get a pair of Christmas pyjamas, even though I don't need them, because I wear my Christmas pyjamas and then they go in the airing cupboard, folded up with the years before that, the year before that, and so on. But I couldn't resist these as I love pyjamas. So I bought those and they're really soft and I can't wait to wear them. Now that I've showed them, I probably will wear them. And they've got my favourite dusky pink band round holding them. They have got a little bit of muck on because yesterday when we were shopping, uh, we were going back to the car with the bags and um, Alan passed me one of the bags to carry and the Primark bag split and everything fell out onto the wet pavement, including these. So they've got a little bit of muck on them, but you can hardly see. Um, but yeah, so I made up with them and I can't wait to wear them. So that's that one. So we've got some skinny fit joggers. These were £8 from Primark in a 14 to 16. Um, I think everyone's wearing these now, aren't they? They can't go out much, so we're wearing lounge wear. So I thought these are just nice for a cosy day at home. Um, they've got the little cuff, uh, little bottoms, cuff bottoms, elasticated waist and just the toggle things there that draw them in and yeah i tried them on last night and i was quite pleased with them i used to wear joggers years ago and i used to look a bit frumpy in them and big in them but these are quite flattering they look all right with like your trainers on if you're just having a cozy day at home you could wear those with a big pair of chunky socks and a nice oversized jumper and there you have it nice and cozy maybe on a boxing day when you've stuffed your face and you don't feel like dressing up for a second day you can just put these on and veg out in front of the telly eat till your heart's content because you've got the elastic waistband so who cares <laughs> so along with that i bought this um big sweater now this says you are loved and it's just an oatmeal color and this is in a 14 to 16 but it's massive it's really i thought it'd be a double xl but it's 14 to 16 and i tried it on last night it's a little bit big but that's what i wanted because now i think that's all in isn't it the oversized um look for when you're lounging around the house having a cozy day i hope you can see that with this lighting i really do um this was how much was this turn it the right way it's in a nude i think it was 10 pounds oh 12 pounds and that's a large and primax large is equivalent to 14 to 16 so that's that one and that looks really nice with the joggers but i might try and get some gray joggers as well if i can get the skinny fit ones not the big bulky ones so the last thing in the clothing i got i did buy two dresses but they're up in the wardrobe um, the jersey dresses that I've shown you in my clothing haul, I got two more of those last week, but I'll show you those in my next video. Um, I got this one. This was £10 in the large, again 14 to 16, and it says um, Copenhagen, Denmark, and it's just a big um, grey swept top. It's got the drawstring at the waist, so that pulls in nicely there, if you can, I hope you can see. 
and then it's got the little zip up there that comes up up the neck there and that's really nice again i tried it on with the joggers and it was just fab i really liked the way it looked i didn't look too big in it um and yeah really again cozy just for a nice day over christmas because we can't go out can we so um there's not many places we can go um so i thought very nice just a pair of joggers with either of these tops just nice cozy loungewear until everyone goes back to work so i think that's all i've got to show um because i showed you all my decorations didn't i and i've showed you then um but i made up with that with the garland it's really nice so if you're looking for one um i think even though it was like 29 pounds do think it was a bargain because you got all the decorations on it as well and sometimes it is nice to buy a plain one and stick your lights over it but i don't know how you, you could probably stick bows on it but i don't know how you'd stick the baubles on so there you've just got everything in one and you just stick it up on your um your banister or whatever you want to put it on so all we've got to get now is some window lights. I've got last year's window lights upstairs, um, but I'm trying to find some um, off the internet to go in the downstairs and the upstairs windows, my room and down in the lounge. So I've got to find them. And I think we're more or less done. We've got a projector as well that goes out in the front garden and projects the images of snowmen and five Christmases and trees onto the house. So we've got to put that in, but we're almost there now. What else? Um, some of my other favourites are just normal, what everyone else likes to do. It's just nice to get up, isn't it? And have a relaxing day with the family. Like I said, me and Alan are in work at two o'clock on Christmas Day. But that's fine because we'll have the morning and then we'll just get up, chill out, open our presents, what everyone else does really. Um, I probably will put a dress on on Christmas morning, even though I'll be taking that off to put my uniform on because... You can't have Christmas Day without a bit of a dress up. But when I come in at eight o'clock, I'll just put my pyjamas on then. So, um, yeah, I think that's it really now. I um, can't think of anything else to show. I don't think I've got anything else. I think I've showed it to you. Um, but, yeah, I hope you are all well. And I hope you're all getting cracking for Christmas, those who celebrate it. I know some don't bother, do they? They just think it's another day. You either celebrate it or you don't. I've always loved Christmas and the family love it. And it's just nice to come together, isn't it? And whatever we can do this year to make it safe, we will do. And then hopefully next year we can get back to normal and really enjoy it properly. Um, so in my next video, I might try and do a gift guide. If you can let me know any Christmassy ones you'd like me to do, just give me some ideas because it's quite hard trying to think of some um maybe some like gift guides or whatever just let me know as well and let me know how you like to spend christmas as well and um we'll have a little chat um so that's the end of today's video it wasn't a very long one but i thought i'd get one in there for you um i'll try and get another one filmed in the week for you as well the doors are getting put up like i said on wednesday so i'll be able to show you those and then the house is finally finished at last and um, so in my next video hopefully i'll be showing you those and um, so that's it for now so if you've enjoyed this little video and got some little christmas ideas on you your little old floras and your air fresheners you know what us women are like and um, let me know thumbs up please and subscribe if you haven't already if you're new here please subscribe my name's bernie and i do um videos on lifestyle hauls bit of fashion i've got a dog called darcy so she features in them this is just for any new ones out there that's what my channel's about and um, so i'll see you very soon bye bye